This video is sponsored by Surfshark VPN. Check out the link in the description for an awesome deal. Y'all got angry at me because I did two videos on Phineas and Ferb and still there were songs that people were like, why didn't you include that? Why didn't you include this one, huh? And the average person may crack under that pressure. They might be like, oh, I don't know how to handle this. How do I please these people? Me, on the other hand, I'm like, we are going to listen to everything people want, always and forever. Crave that validation. Before we start, I want to take a quick second to talk to you about today's sponsor, Surfshark VPN. Now, before you skip, it's a little known fact about me that I actually used to work in tech, and I can tell you that VPNs are important. In simple terms, what a virtual private network does is establish a secure and protected connection when you're using the internet. You've probably heard a whole bunch about the huge amount of privacy issues going on these days. Companies do everything from using your browsing data to sell your products to even selling that information to third parties. Even when you use things like incognito mode, your service provider can still track, store, and in a lot of countries, sell that information. Using a VPN can make all that information private. It's not all about doom and gloom though. VPNs are also an easy way to access other countries' content when you're using streaming platforms because they can virtually relocate where your device is connecting to the website from. On a personal note, I've been using a VPN for literally like a decade. Doing so has even saved me money. I will never forget when I was trying to book a flight from the US to Australia and on a whim, I checked out prices using a VPN. Buying the same flight but connecting to the US website genuinely cut $200 off the price for me. Some services, especially those with like variable pricing structures, charge less depending on where you're connecting from. So that's why I'm excited to have partnered with Surfshark today and they've even set up a deal for y'all. Use the link in the description and enter the promo code MATTHEW and you'll get 83% off and three extra months for free. I'd I'd appreciate if you checked it out because Surfshark has been amazing in sponsoring this video. The first one is called Come Home Perry. I'm getting a uh, Gary Come Home vibes from Spongebob. <laughs> I wonder if Perry has run away or if perhaps he's been kidnapped, held hostage somewhere in his secret spy life. <laughs> Didn't expect like nice acoustic tone to be honest. You know you are a boy's best friend. You're more than just a passing trend. <laughs> this is so sweet. And it looks like they've enlisted the help of like everyone to try to get him back. I don't know the context of why he's missing, but I assume it's not what Phineas and Ferb think. Oh, Perry, you're extraordinary. The slow layering of instruments is really nice. Yes. Oh, a harmonized slide up? Okay. I've got to take a second to shift gears because I completely forgot how good the creators of Phineas and Ferb were when it comes to compositional choices. So let me just remember, not a silly cartoon. <laughs> well, I mean, it is a silly cartoon, but the song's good. I like the clean vocals here, especially because Candace is singing without harmonies. It's showing how good her voice is. I can't find you anywhere. <laughs> These rhymes. Change my name to Larry. Larry. She's gonna be Larry. I ran out of rhymes, all right? She'll change her name to Larry. <laughs> That's the one that they pick up on. Oh my Lord, the harmonies. And she's running this top line melody over it. Wonderful. I also like that the vocal melody is like slightly offbeat. It's coming in on these syncopated accents. Oh, he came back? Why? But <laughs> where was he? They thought that he was lost, but in truth, he'd been reassigned to a new villain and got relocated to a new family. Wait, villain? Is Perry a villain? Yeah, but he said he got assigned to a new villain. Yes, so he's not. Oh, to, to fight a new yeah, villain. New rival, pretty much. Right. I'm like, I was like, as like an assistant? <laughs> Damn, Perry be evil and my world be turned upside down. <laughs> Unironically, dude, that would have been, that would have been sad. I mean, that was really sweet. It captured exactly the vibe it was going for. And I do like the idea that they're singing this like really heartfelt thing, trying to convince Perry to come home. But actually like he wasn't lost. He didn't run away. He was just uh, in a new job. The next one is called Somebody Give Me a Grade. The Balgeetles. I'm expecting something heavy and I'm very excited. Oh my, so into this already. This is summer rocks. There are no grades. <gasps> no grades? So he's not used to like being able to do what he wants. I want to try something. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> I just want to hear him be angry. Five, five egg, lesson, plans, and a free floating curriculum. <laughs> this is 
like a mix of what? Black Sabbath and Rage Against the Machine, kinda? <laughs> it's exactly what I thought I'd get when I opened up a Phineas and Ferb video. Oh, dude. That slaps. <laughs> if I don't hear someone scream, I'm gonna riot. I mean, the intensity of it is on point. I also love when songs contrast with themselves. So hearing them start with this slow walking pace where he's almost talking to then hit this chorus where the lyrical pace is increased, the intensity of the vocals is increased and even the underlying like rhythm, guitar and power chords are all coming in a lot faster. It definitely makes sure it's not boring. Is that a like a tempo increase as well? Oh. Hell yeah! It's like a rap! Why does it go so hard though? Oh, is he gonna smash the guitar? Please. I wanna see you smash it! <laughs> oh, I, oh no! Oh, come on! I feel teased! I was like, yeah, he's gonna smash it! And then... Rude. Although maybe it would have been a little bit out of character. I don't know his limits. Honestly, I think one of my favorite things about doing these Phineas and Ferb videos is the sheer amount of variety we're getting. Look at those two songs. It's really impressive to see songs done so well in so many different genres. The next one, I'm not sure whether to pronounce it uh, Aglet or A-G-L-E-T, but uh, I'm ready. Teach me about the little things that go on the end of shoelaces. Oh, another like boppy style song. His shirt says, I love aglets. I need that in my life. <laughs> oh, it's like inspirational pop. Oh my God. This is so stupid already. The puns I've seen I tie the world together. I can't tell if I love it or hate it. Maybe it's somewhere in between. <laughs> Do they just have that prepared? Oh my God. I like that he's harmonizing with himself. It's almost how it would sound if he was using like a loop pedal or something. It does help give it this anthemic sound. But also why are they on the big screen in various parts of the world? And why are people holding up? Why do, why do people care? Why are they watching this? Oh my God. The emotional slowdown. Is that we never forget. This is so dumb. We're gonna drive it hard to the home. But like, Maybe I sound like a broken record. My only question is why? Why is this a thing? They could sing about anything else. Can someone give me context in the comments? Brings us closer to our soul. Oh my, oh God, that's... One word at a time. It doesn't matter. Yeah, I would say that's an accurate statement at the end. It doesn't matter. What the hell was that? Like, I'm not mad that it exists. I swear if one of these last two songs ends up being some like emotional gut punch, I don't know how I'm gonna handle that. The next one is called Carpe Diem. Carpe Diem. It's Latin for seize the day. Or you could say seize the day was English for Carpe Diem. <laughs> it's an incredibly accurate statement actually, and I've never thought about it. Why does Ferb sound so English though? Well, we hope you all enjoyed the show. Hope it was not anticlimactic. <laughs> I love how meta they get with their humor. Stop being so good at layering vocals. It's unreasonable. <laughs> I like giving it that like beach rock vibe at the end. All right, everyone, in this last chorus, let's really hit that straight arm like this, okay? Straight arm. <laughs> I love that these are things they include. It gives it so much character and heart. Five, six, seven, eight. Do they come in in a different key? I think so. I love the crazy visuals. This shouldn't, I feel like this shouldn't be making me this happy. Oh my gosh. 
Fill me with good feelings then, I guess. You didn't ask my permission, but I'll accept it. I think my life would be greatly improved if every time I woke up, that chorus line played in my head. And it's one of those things that is just so unabashedly happy and cute in what it does that it's just hard to not freaking love it. So I just read the description for this song, which is called What Might Have Been. And it says, when leaving for college, Isabella reminisces about all of her summers with Phineas. And then I just checked out the Wikipedia page and I learned that it's set 10 years in the future. And I feel like this is gonna be nostalgic nostalgic and sad and let me tell you I am not ready <laughs> even this first frame not it's not good <laughs> Isabella had or has a crush on Phineas. I'm guessing she's kind of like coming to terms with the fact that maybe it's going to be behind her. Behind. And that is a high pitched voice. That's really sweet. I like that visual. Oh. Seeing her grow up like that is really cute. You know, since you were kids, she's had a huge crush on you. <laughs> uh, I wish I had known. So did Phineas have a crush on her, or was it just uh, one of those things where he's like, oh, now that I know, actually, yeah, I'm seeing you in a different light. Although it's possible you did. And I just never heard. That's actually like a really nice element of introspection because it is very common that when someone finds out that another person has had feelings for them for quite a while, they're like, why didn't you ever say something? But people often will, just maybe not in the most direct way, but if you're really listening, you'll often understand. I guess I wasn't that alert. Man, even more the introspection, he's like really thinking about himself. Tried to make the most oh my god, that's depressing. Oh. Wow. Okay. They're really hitting into this idea of like, oh, it's never too late until it is. Because there is that saying of like, oh, there's always time, it's never too late. But, you know, at some point, people are gonna move on. At some point, people are gonna change. And in that visual, if you see how long she was hanging around, literally in the background of his life, of course, she's not gonna be there forever. <laughs> <laughs> the annoyance on her face. Do they end up together in the end? When I was sick with Seeing what she's like imagining. Oh, so depressing. What might have been? Is she gonna like drive back? No, this is literally like about to end and she's just leaving. All right, well now I gotta give myself spoilers because I, I need to know. I'm assuming they don't end up together. In the end, they do end up together. So at least that's nice. I don't need to sit here all depressed because of the music video from a cartoon. So that's a positive in my life. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to check out the sponsor of today's video, Surfshark. The link is in the description. And as always, have an awesome time until I see you next. See ya.